If you had a million dollar racehorse, would you ever feed it junk food? Would you ever get it drunk or stoned? Would you ever prevent it from exercising or allow it to breathe polluted air or drink polluted water if you could help it? Of course not, unless you wanted to lose every race. Yet aren't you worth so much more? Many people never treat themselves as they would treat a valuable racehorse, which is why they have trouble winning the races of their lives, at school, at work, in their relationships, or with their health. There is another kind of special horse. In fact, there are two of them. They are horse-shaped structures in your brain that are about the size of your thumbs and found on the inside of your left and right temporal lobes. Each one is called a hippocampus, the Greek word for seahorse, because it's shaped like one. Two are called hippocampi. They are the stars of our story. We'll call them Scarlet and Sam, the seahorse twins. They are part of your emotional brain, which helps you feel happy or sad, and they're very important to your memory. They help you remember where you put your phone and whether or not you locked the door when you left home. Memories make us who we are. They give us an identity and help us remember important life lessons, like don't go near the net. Scientists have discovered that there are many things we can do to hurt our hippocampi, making Scarlet and Sam smaller so it's harder to learn and remember, and there are many things we can do to help them grow bigger and stronger, making learning and memory easier. Here are 11 ways that illustrate how to hurt or help Scarlet and Sam. We'll use a mnemonic called Bright Minds to help you remember all of them. B is for blood flow. Blood is essential to life. It brings nourishment to every cell in your body and takes away waste products. Low blood flow is the number one brain imaging predictor of Alzheimer's disease. One of the best ways to keep your blood vessels healthy is to exercise. If Scarlett and Sam just sat around all day and did nothing, they would quite literally become smaller and weaker. Loving and caring for your seahorses means making sure you exercise regularly by walking, running, lifting weights, and engaging in coordination exercises that you enjoy, such as dancing or table tennis. R is for retirement and aging. When you stop learning, your brain starts dying. Scarlett and Sam had been working at the Seahorse Amusement Park for many years. They did the same job of running the arcade, taking tickets, and fixing games over and over. When they stopped learning and being interested in their work, they started to get smaller and weaker. When they weighed themselves and measured their height, they could see that boredom was making them waste away. They decided to look for new jobs at the park. Scarlett started to sing and act in the park's plays, and Sam took up the guitar so he could be in the band. As they learned new skills, doing challenging activities they felt passionate about, they started to grow bigger and stronger and felt happier once more. New learning is one of the most powerful ways to keep Scarlett and Sam healthy. I is for inflammation which comes from the Latin word meaning to set a fire. When you have inflammation in your body, it's like you have a low level fire destroying your organs. Sam was so busy that he never took care of his teeth. He didn't think they were important. Over time, his gums started to bleed whenever he brushed his teeth. Scarlett, who loved her brother, told him he had bad breath. She said, don't you know that gum disease can cause inflammation in your body and damage your heart and your brain? Sam got the message and started to floss every night, see his dentist, 
and be much more serious about taking care of his teeth, gums, and mouth. G is for genetics. Memory problems can run in families. Scarlett and Sam had a father and grandmother who both lost their memory as they got older. It was very hard on their family. They were worried that maybe they would lose their memory too. Instead of just being worried about it, like their cousin Nervous Nancy, they decided to do everything they could to keep their memory strong as they aged, including exercise, new learning, and eating healthy food. H is for head trauma. Your brain is soft about the consistency of soft butter, and your skull is really hard with sharp bony ridges. Sam loves soccer. He played as a young seahorse and was even playing on weekends. He was particularly good at heading soccer balls, even though sometimes it left him feeling dazed. Scarlett was worried about him. She had read that playing contact sports like football and soccer can cause long-term brain problems. At first, Sam made fun of her and mocked her, saying, How can I have any fun? Do you want me to play badminton or ping pong? Because she loved her twin, she was courageous and said, Who has more fun, Sam? The seahorse with a healthy brain or the seahorse with a damaged one? You are smarter than you are acting. Seahorses who play racket sports actually live longer than those who play any other sport. Get a ping pong paddle and see if you can beat me. I doubt it. Smart seahorses protect their brains. T is for toxins. Scarlett noticed that her skin was breaking out more and more in rashes, and she felt foggy-headed ever since there was an oil spill near their home. Her children had rashes too, and they started to struggle more in school. Sam, who lived a few miles away, was not having the same problems, so Scarlett took her children to live with his family. Over the next few weeks, they felt better. Scarlett's oldest son, Frisco, had always been a good student in school, but often struggled with anxiety and nervousness. He started smoking marijuana at the suggestion of a friend who told him it was great to help reduce anxiety. After a few weeks, his grades started to drop. He became more forgetful and started to shrink. His mood changed and he started fighting more with Scarlett. When Scarlett found out what Frisco was doing, she panicked and brought him to see Uncle Sam. Sam showed Frisco brain scans of seahorses on marijuana from a study published in a medical journal. That frightened Frisco, who stopped smoking marijuana. Uncle Sam taught him to use meditation and exercise to calm his anxiety, which helped him grow bigger and stronger once again. M is for mental health. When Scarlett's son, Frisco, started having problems with marijuana, she became very stressed out. She worried, started having tension headaches, had trouble sleeping, and became more withdrawn. The stress was making Scarlett smaller and weaker. Being a twin, Sam always knew when Scarlett was upset. He told her about the effect of stress on her brain and taught her to meditate, exercise, and see a seahorse therapist to get skills on how to deal with stress. Once Scarlett started to take care of herself, she felt more relaxed and grew stronger. One of the reasons Sam knew how to help Frisco and Scarlett was that he went through a period of depression after he lost his wife to a hungry crab many years ago. It happened at a time when he was pregnant. Male seahorses actually have babies and can deliver up to 1,500 at a time. Losing his wife during the stress of the pregnancy was very hard on Sam. He cried for weeks and wondered if life was worth living. Then he realized he had all the babies to take care of and went to see a therapist to get help. Using meditation, exercise, and healthy food, Sam began to feel better. He knew his wife would have wanted him to be healthy for their babies. I is for immunity and infections. 
It was winter time in the part of the sea that Scarlet and Sam called home. It was very cold and the sun had not been seen for weeks. They noticed they were more irritable with each other, were sick more often, and started to get smaller and weaker. When they went to see their seahorse physician, Dr. Amy G. Dalla, she discovered that they both had very low vitamin D levels. She explained that vitamin D is a very special nutrient we get from sun exposure. Eating vitamin D rich foods such as cod liver oil or portobello mushrooms or taking supplements. It helps keep bone strong, immunity healthy, and supports mood and memory. When vitamin D is low, seahorses get weaker and smaller. The doctor gave them vitamin D to take every day. Within a few weeks, they started to feel better and were growing bigger and stronger. N is for neurohormone deficiencies. Hormones keep your brain young and strong. As Sam and Scarlett got older, they didn't seem to have as much energy or strength, even though they tried to eat right and exercise. Their skin became more wrinkled and their recall of important information was not as good as when they were younger. Dr. Amy G. Dalla checked their important numbers and found several of their hormones were low, including testosterone in both of them and estrogen in scarlet. Boosting fiber and eliminating sugar help, as did weight training and using special supplements and medication. Without the support of their hormones, Scarlett and Sam would grow smaller each year, but supporting them helped the seahorses regain their size and strength. D is for diabetes. As your weight and blood sugar go up, the size and function of your brain goes down. While working at the Seahorse Amusement Park, both Scarlett and Sam ate too much of the tasty but very unhealthy food, including corn dogs, pizza, fries, sodas, and cotton candy. Even though the food made them feel good for a short while when they ate it, they often felt sluggish later on. Over time, they also noticed each other's bellies were getting bigger while they were growing smaller and becoming weaker. Their blood sugar levels went up too. Dr. Amy G. Dalla told them that they were now obese, pre-diabetic seahorses, and if they wanted to live for a long time with healthy brains, they had to change their ways. They passed up the fast food and started bringing their lunch to work and being more thoughtful about what they put in their bodies. Their bellies stopped bulging and they grew bigger and stronger. S is for sleep. Your brain cleanses itself when you sleep. Poor sleep causes trash to build up, which can ruin your memory. Scarlett went out with Sam's new wife, Sophia, for green tea and blueberries. Scarlett was so happy her brother had found someone new, but was concerned when Sophia told her she was not getting any sleep because Sam snored so loudly and seemed to stop breathing a lot. Scarlett recognized the symptoms of sleep apnea in her brother and talked to him about going to Dr. Dalla for a sleep study. It turned out Sam had severe sleep apnea and once it was treated, he slept much better as did Sophia. Both of them became happier, healthier, and grew stronger and more powerful. Bright minds know how to take care of the seahorses inside their brains. They help you win the races of your life. Be sure to take care of your seahorses and your whole brain because they take care of you.